frisky. Over some poles and whiskey. Like the ways of the bay of the biscuit. Hi, Arthur. Come here, man. Uh, the Who it is? to tumble <laughs> and... Can I ask you a favor? Probably not. Very funny. Would you do something with Jack? He seems kind of down. All this upheaval can't have been easy on the poor kid. <laughs> Why? Because I'm your preferred nursemaid? Because he likes you and, well, you know his father's useless. <laughs> okay. Thank you. What you up to? Playing. Anything fun? I guess. You want to come fishing with me? Fishing? Sure. You're right. It's about time that you started to earn your cape. Okay. Good. Let's go get your pole in. Now, you do have a fishing pole, don't you? I sure do. Uncle Jose made me one. Good. Well, let's go get it then. Go catch us some fish. <laughs> yeah. I'll mount up and lift you on when you're ready. All right, girl. How's it going? I've had better days. All right. Let's go then. So, where are we going? Just down to the river near here. We shouldn't go too far from camp. Oh, okay. You feeling better? I know you was a little sick. Oh, I'm fine. You're a brave kid. So, just like you. Well, I don't know about brave. I ain't much of a kid no more. Though your mama might disagree. There a few other women, I guess. What do you mean? Uh, I'm just talking silly. <laughs> it's been a tough few weeks up in that snow. I like the snow. Yes, but not like that. When are we going back to the other camp? The one near Blackwater? Yeah. Well, we're not. This is our spot. For now, anyway. Why? I forgot a storybook there. We left so quick. Well, I'm sure someone can get you another storybook. All right. This looks as good a spot as any. Where should we stand, Uncle Arthur? Down by the shore. Come on, follow me. Just by the water there? You mean? I can't wait to get started. But first, we need some bait. I'm gonna use some cheese. Cheese? Bellier the better. Now, cast your line. Swing the rod back over your shoulder and bring it forward in a smooth motion. Use your wrist, not your elbow. Like that? That's it, good. All we do now, Jack, is wait for a fish to take the bait. How do I know when I've got a bite? Well, if you feel the tip of your fishing rod just twitching, don't yank it yet. That just means one's nibbling. If you feel a hard tug, that's a fish going for the bait, so yank hard to hook it. Something's tugging at your rod, Uncle Arthur. Whoop, think I got one. It 
See him fighting there, Jack? That's when you gotta be careful. You, you'll break the line. Best to wear him out first before you try to reel him in. Now, seems like he's taking a rest now. I'm gonna try reeling him in nice and steady. Look, Jack, it's a bluegill. It's almost as small as you. We should really throw these smaller ones back. Give them a chance to grow up a bit. Can I take a break from fishing? I want to make something. Okay. I'm gonna pick some of those red flowers. I'll be right back. I'm gonna try my luck over there. You gotta stick at things, Jack. I know. You've got a bite, Uncle Arthur? Got one, Jack. I see. This one's a smallmouth bass. Not bad. Fishing sure is boring, Uncle Arthur. <sighs> I know. Boring as hell. But then, something happens. And you can get food for days. Really? If you're lucky. But until then, you just... Sit, wait, try not to worry. It's good for you. It's good for you? I guess. Huh. Hey, look at this. And what? This necklace I made. Necklace? For Mama. Sure. What a fine young man. And in such complex circumstances. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Yes, Arthur Morgan, Vanderlyn's most trusted associate. You've read the files. Typical case, orphaned street kid seduced by that maniac's silver tongue and matures into a degenerate murderer. Agent Milton, Agent Ross, Pinkerton Detective Agency, seconded to the United States government. Nice to finally meet. We know a lot about you. Do you? You're a wanted man, Mr. Morgan. There's $5,000 for your head alone. $5,000? For me? Can I turn myself in? We want Vanderlyn. Old Dutch. I haven't seen him for months. That's so? Because I heard a guy fitting his description robbed a train belonging to Leviticus Cornwall up near Granite Pass. Oh, ain't that a little old-fashioned nowadays? Apparently not. Listen. This is my offer, Mr. Morgan. Bring in Vanderlyn, and you have my word you won't swing. Oh, I ain't gonna swing anyways, Agent. Uh, Milton. You see, I haven't done anything wrong, aside from not play the games to your rules. Spare me the philosophy lesson. I've already heard it from Mac Callender. Mac Callender? He was pretty shot up by the time I got to him. So really, it was more of a mercy killing. Slow, but merciful. <laughs> you enjoy being a rich man's toy, dear. I enjoy society, flaws and all. You people venerate savagery, and you will die, savagely. All of you. Oh, we're all gonna die, Agent. Some of us, sooner than others. Good day, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye. Enjoy your fishing, kid. While you still can. <laughs> Who are they? No one to worry about. No one at all. Come on. Let's pick up your things and get home. This 
getting late, Jack. Your mother would be worried. Let's head back. That's cool, girl. Why did you lie about where Uncle Dutch is? Because... Well... Because those are disagreeable men. And I don't want them to hurt us. What did they mean about Mac? Is he in jail? Uh, no, I don't uh, think so. I hope he's just fine where he is. Like I said, don't worry about them. The world is full of disagreeable men. That's why you got all of us to protect you. Folk like them. Now, how about that necklace you made? You still got it, right? Yeah, I got it. Good. Did you like fishing? It was... okay, I think. It's a lot of waiting around. It is. There you are! How are you boys getting on? Great! We caught a fish. And I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? Ain't I the luckiest? Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? And they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. If she's trying to scare us into doing something stupid, we have turned a corner. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. So, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about, or you got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Come along. You'll see. 
That train job was a start, but we need more money. Until we can get back to Blackwater and collect. I'm here to tell you. We try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way... We're the last, I reckon. So we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. Morning. You coming? How you holding up? Well, life ain't easy. So like you were saying before... All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Kitchen post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Good morning, sir. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Morning, sir. Gun store. Yep. Can you uh head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Oh well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a side on. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Come on, girl. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place.
So I'm thinking that the herd will make it to auction all right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collecting on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. I think that's them over there. The one now? Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. <laughs> Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in close. He'll get the message. <laughs> yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round them up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? No, oh, day here, there, but not much. Most cowboys I know are dumb as trees. How hard could it be? I guess we'll soon find out. Let's get these things, bring them back to the yards. Oh! Yeah. They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Sheep to me. You ride Shank, keep watch for any trouble. I brought you in on this. It'll be quicker this way. Trust me. This ain't the right time for you to be learning how to hurt. All right, whatever you say. I'm done arguing. The quickest route back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. There you go! Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yep. 
Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? Eighteen percent. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. <laughs> Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. No, we never really was. Whoa. Come on, sunshine. I'll buy you a whiskey. Not everything. But, in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises! Compromises! Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Mapo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink? Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago, bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. What the hell? Vandalin! You don't know me, but you keep robbing me! My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you! Get out here before I have these men killed! What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash! You start spinning a yarn, and when I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. You I got where I am by letting Scott watch you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done! Now get out here now! Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another who wants to be the Messiah? Not me. Nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn who...
push the wagon. Find their shoot someone. I'm trying. on the back of John's horse, and let's get out of here. You make sure nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure. We can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Alright. I better get out of here. 